over in the dairy barn, I'm going to show you how we milk some cows. This is an iodine dip that we're going to clean the cow's quarters with. This is called oxide, iodine, and a peroxide mixture. What we're going to do is take this and we're going to dip it on all four quarters of the cow. And we leave it on there for about 30 seconds. Take any bacteria off the cow, off the quarter. the cow to come into milk. Now we'll take a paper towel and we'll wipe that off if we just got through dipping. Like I said, by handling her, it will tell her that she's in the milk barn. It's time to let down her milk. And it's just called prepping. If you see a cow kick or jump around, not because it's hurting them, it's because each cow produces six to eight gallons of milk a day. So you can imagine they're carrying six to eight gallons of milk per cow in their, in their quarters, in their bag. So they're wanting to get rid of that milk. So they're dancing around because it's, they're sore. And they're wanting to let down their milk to get rid of the milk. milker is uh, run by pulsation so what we do these are automatic milkers but we have to turn them on let these drop that turns on the airflow the pulsation of the suction takes about 15 minutes or about 5 minutes to milk a cow from time to come in and the time they finish it takes about 15. But the milker will stay on the cow for about around 5 minutes. Um, once we prep this side, we milk 10 at a time in the barn. So we milk this side, it's 5 cows, and then while we're doing this side, and these cows are already milking, we come to this side and these are finishing up. Uh, you can tell some of these cows are letting the milk down good. We're milking a lot of, a lot of milk coming out. It goes through this uh, tube, down the pipeline, into the receiver jar, which has a float, and goes up and over into the front room where the tank is, where it's cooled down to 37 degrees. And the milk hauler comes every other day to pick up our milk, and he takes it to Highland, over in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and it goes to school milk. Because these cows are finishing up, We'll, let these, we'll pull these milkers off. And the pulsation, when I hit that button, the pulsation stops and allows the milker to drop and to come off. It's not, it's not harmful, it doesn't hurt the cow. get finished uh, pulling the milkers off, we put another iodine dip on them. It's called a post dip. And it acts as like a chapstick and a barrier dip together. It's uh, kind of like a silicone that uh, that closes that quarter up and doesn't allow for dirt or debris to get into that as she goes to the feed barn as she lays down and eats. So what, what that does is close it up. It also protects it from dirt and debris, and it it, uh, it helps for chapped quarters. These cows over here.
here are finished, we're going to let them out. They will go out to the pasture to graze or to eat. Twice a day we feed them. Every time we get done milking, they get fed. So when we get the finished milking, they go to the feed barn to eat. We're milking about 130 cows right now. It takes about three hours to milk, morning and three hours in the evening. 